welcome to part 5 of the Dim Ulti Run Crystal Walkthrough. When we last left off, we raided the Sprout Tower and beat some old parts and we got the Flash HM. Now, in order to use that outside battle, we must go to the gym. The gym is right here and let's go. Uh, there's nothing really much to say about this gym since like, since it is the first gym so that means it's designed to be for weaklings. But, they specialize in flying type, so... That means the grass starter, Chikorita, would probably be at a disadvantage right here. But it's nothing bad. Anyway, the first guy I fight has a level 9 Spiro, which is a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet in the run-through. I might actually get one, I don't know. Since I do need a fly... fly slave. Uh, it goes for a pack which actually does a lot of damage. But damage, uh, I haven't seen myself get hit for that much, except unless it was a super effective. Uh, let's see, I beat him, yeah. Woohoo. Anyway, let's continue on. And we get stopped by this other guy right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Gee, I wonder if, like, every single bird flyer in every single Pokemon game has a Mohawk, like, really. Is it, like, is it, like, uh, a standard for, in that, like, to be a flying type, po flying type Pokemon trainer, you have to have a Mohawk? I don't know. So, I'm just, like, beating this guy's Pidgey with... My scratch and my newly learned water gun. I was like testing out which one did more damage. It turns out water gun does a little bit more, but not a lot, even though it's based on its weaker attack stat. But thankfully in Heart Gold Soul Silver, that'll be like fixed since ten uh Gator can finally use physical waters. Let's see. He's talking about how Flying types are get get beaten by electrics, so he's I just tell him to cry more. And here's our first gym battle against Faulkner of Violet City. He has a grand total of two Pokemon, and one of them is a Pidgey. That's the same exact level as one of the people the others that I fought. So it's like nothing new. I go for a water gun. Yeah, that's around 75. I kill it with another one. Alright. Next up, he sends out Pidgeotto, which is level 9. And not only that, is that illegal, but like, really, not even a Pidgeot, not even a Spiro. And what's sad is that they didn't even put Hoot Hoot in his team. And that was from Gold, that was the new flying type Pokemon of Gold and Silver. Anyway, uh, his peck, or gust, did like 2 damage to me, which made me lol. And, uh, I level up again, to level 16. So yeah. He's QQing more, and he gives me the first official Pokemon League gym badge of Johto. The Zephyr badge. Like, that was, that little bit about raising the attack of Pokemon never, like, I never fully understand that. Like, does it actually work? Oh yeah, and he gives me the obligatory TM that GMs must give. But like, really, like, it has Mud Slap. I would expect that from like a ground type gym, but like, not like a flying type gym, which is like, the opposite. <laughs> Alright, I exit out of the gym. And who's this? Oh, it's Professor Elm calling me. He said he found something about the egg, and his assistant is just conveniently in the Pokemon Center. Anyway, let's head there since I was gonna heal up my Pokemon anyway. Alright, I don't care about the guy. I wanna get my, heal my Pokemon healed up first. Yes.
Alright, it's time to talk to the guy. I don't know what he has to say. Long time no see. Uh, he has another favor, G. No, I did not want to take the Pokemon egg. Oh, cry more. Damn it, can't do anything. I have to take the egg. Oh, here he's just stating the obvious that like what everyone probably figured out. But I probably won't do it or I, I won't call M when the egg hatches because I'm gonna open up this PC. And I'm gonna deposit the egg since it's totally useless to me. Bye bye egg. Have fun rotting in the box. Anyway, let's go out. Uh, I guess this is the part where I leave off. Tune in next time.